What's up guys? So you've been using your Racepack data logger for a little while now and you think you've mastered the ability to uh, download a run and just use some of the basic functions when it comes to the Racepack program. Now, what about everything else? Like, There's a ton of stuff that you can do with the Racepack Data Link 2 software and, and a lot of people go unnoticed or don't even know how to use it or anything like that. So what I wanted to do today is uh, show you a little bit about like just some of the cool little simple, simple features that you might be able to add to your repertoire of uh, download processes that might help you out a little bit. So let's take a look and uh, see what we got. So let's go ahead and open up the Data Link 2 software here. And now the biggest thing I wanted to talk a little bit about is when you first open the program, a lot of people say, oh, it's gray on the top, black in the middle, and gray on the bottom. Now, if obviously you can move this up and down, right? But Oh no, where'd the, where'd the bottom go? So a simple little toolbar trick here is this little, uh, looks like three sheets of paper stacked on top of each other called organized panes. What this actually means is there's three panes of the screen here. So depending on how you have it set, there's where the channels will be located, the channel buttons, where your graph will actually be located, and then also where your run log information will be located. So, and if you were to click on that, depending on how you have it set, it's going to change it. Now you can move it. You can move it with uh, the click of a mouse and slide it down. See how the the mouse changes there once it goes black. You can bring this slide this all the way down. You can move this up here and say, oh no, where where did my my graph go? You can either slide it slide it yourself, or you can just click back on your organized panes. So. I'm going to go ahead and open up a run here and we can talk about this a little bit further. So let's just go ahead and open up this. So the way that I have this set is I have my, my channel buttons a little low on the top. I have the graph and then I have this run info section here along the bottom. A lot of people don't even realize that this is there because most of the time it looks like this when they download the run and they don't even know that it's there. So if I was to click on the Organize Panes button, there's a lot of cool stuff that's actually housed down here. So for instance, uh, I can go here and I can see the year, the track, what elimination round it was. In this particular case, this was at the most recent Spring Fling, eliminations number three. And it, it just tells me everything right there. Um, what time it was, 5.44 p.m., et cetera. Um, and then these are like uh, manila envelopes, I guess, in a filing cabinet that you have all this cool stuff along here down at the bottom that you can actually use. So you can use this as a log book. You have your run log information here. You can type in all of your ET slip information so that way you can throw away the paper. Uh, you got weather down here. You can put in your weather if it was, you know, the humidity, the temperature, etc. And then that way every time you download this run and you want to take a look, you can reference all this stuff while you're looking at your data instead of, instead of having to look at your handwritten logbook. Some other cool features down here, I mean, you can, you can create gauges. So if I had uh, engine RPM, drive shaft RPM, and I slide this over, and then wherever I look on the screen, see how the engine RPM and drive shaft RPM gauges are moving? A lot of people like to see that when uh, it's just an easier reference for them. Um, something else that you can use um, is user pages um, and you can type in things like uh, this is just kind of like a note a notepad say um, it was really windy car fell off due to due to wind 14 mph say for instance so that way, when I reference this run and say, "Oh, well, why, you know, why did it, why did I lose, or why did I win this round, or whatever," that can be in there. Um, and then there's a bunch, there's a whole bunch of these in there that that way you can have plenty of plenty of uh, room for notes. Um, then you have onboard video stuff. You can import video in there. Um, all kinds of good stuff. So now I have this on my screen here, and I, I don't, I don't really want to reference this anymore. So. If you were to just click on your Organize Panes button, voila, it's gone. So, and then you can just look at uh, your runs here, etc. you know, whatever it may be. Now, 
if you wanted to, to change how wide or how low this stuff goes, it's just a matter of uh, going into your settings here at the top and uh, your screen sequence sizes. Now, um, I have two versions here. I have the channel size at 15, graph size at 25, and log size at 60, and then another one at 25 and 75. Whatever you have, it has to equal 100. So if I, if I wanted this to be 50, 50, and zero, I could do that. If I wanted it to be, uh, like I said, 15, 25, and 60, you can do that as well. And then if you wanted to add another one, you just click here and just, you know, say 50, 50. And then uh, that way, if I go here, I organize my panes, and I have three different versions. So just something that's uh, kind of cool that allows you to, uh, to do a few things that people don't know. This is the Organize Panes button on the toolbar, and it's there for your reference to be able to, uh, to help you out. So if you have any other cool tips and tricks that you'd like to know, let us know. But uh, the Organize Panes button is a really cool, uh, quick little thing that you can uh, use within the Datalink 2 software that will help you out and get you into the lanes for the next round a lot faster. For more information, be sure to log on to racepack.com or give us a call toll free at 888-429-4709.